Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer, and today I'm going to be talking more about Patch 4.3 as well as announcing the winners from last week's Race Change giveaway. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, remember to rate it. Thumbs up. I'm sure you guys are all wondering why the heck I'm wearing my Panda Spirit hood for a video. And it is in celebration of the fact that Blizzard kind of sort of basically said that Pandarans would not be a new playable race in the next expansion. And most likely Miss the Pandaria is not even going to be an in-game component. Uh, Blizzard did make a public statement saying that whenever they use pandas it's generally in a collectible, a figurine, a comic book, a piece of art, something like that. Blizzard has a very large player base in China, and in China it is extremely taboo to show pandas in any sort of like battling sort of activity. So I'm pretty sure that Blizzard would not put out content that would offend such a large portion of their player base. So maybe the next expansion is still Emerald Dream. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, on to patch 4.3 news. We all know that Patch 4.3 will be bringing the raid where Deathwing will meet his demise, but what you didn't know is that the new five mans that will be introduced in Patch 4.3 will be leading up to the Deathwing encounter the same way that the ICC instances led up to the Lich King. Also, the Deathwing fight will actually be the longest fight in World of Warcraft, and it sounds like rather than going through trash fights, that each... Uh, part of the Deathwing encounter will almost be like a separate boss. I know that you start out at the Wormrist Temple and at some point you actually get on Deathwing's back and you end up at the Maelstrom. Each different part of the encounter has a separate location and a separate loot table. For a long time people in World of Warcraft have been complaining about there not being enough variation in the way armor looks. Now to combat this, they obviously have been talking about introducing transmogrification for patch 4.3 which will allow you to customize the way your armor looks to look like another piece of armor. And also to combat the lack of variation in armor, Blizzard did hire a new sub-lead for the art division who will be in charge of making sure that the armor that you'll get in patch 4.3 isn't going to look like any previous armor in the game. In response to player outcry that Alliance had less mounts that could be obtained than Horde, because these are the important issues, Blizzard has announced that they will be releasing a racial mount for Worgen. Even though they'll still have the Running Wild ability, Blizzard will be releasing um, Gilneas Reputation mounts, which will actually just be like unsaddled, unbridled, unarmored horses, which is kind of cool in a way, but then I kind of feel like Worgens are so badass, and all they are is horses. Like, a lot of people are really excited about it just for the number of mounts, but, yeah, I don't know. It's They're just horses, and they don't even have, like, saddles or anything. They're not even, like, badass horses. They're just, like, run-in-the-mill horses. Another interesting thing brought up by the developers was that they are interested in making it possible for World of Warcraft users to make some sort of user-generated content, almost like how you can make custom maps in StarCraft II. Um, there is no real word on how they're going to do this, what they're going to do, or when they're going to do it, but it is interesting to hear that it's something they're thinking about. Fun wow fact of the day, there are more people that used to play World of Warcraft that no longer play World of Warcraft than are currently playing World of Warcraft. What you guys are all really waiting for is to find out who won the race change giveaways from last week. And the winners are Sausage Rar and Lil Scar 727. Check your inboxes as I sent you codes as well as the instructions on how to redeem them. So how about I messed up my wrist? I legitimately played WoW for like 10 hours straight yesterday with like no breaks and like now my wrist is all fucked. And this shoulder's fucked. Like this wrist and this shoulder, fucked. That ever happened to you? Have you ever gotten a gaming related injury or is that just me? That's probably just me. And it looks like that's my cue guys. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe and I'll see you soon. After much outcry from the World of Warcraft community that Alliance had more mounts available, after much outcry from the World of Warcraft community that Horde had more lot, fucking stupid bitch. Ah, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> I do like this idea, but part of me wishes they had gotten a little more creative than just putting horses in. Um, I don't know. It would have been cool. Fuck. 
and their like racial mounts are super lame. Not gonna lie. Sorry. Sorry, Alliance. This is why I play Horde.